course. Heather Brent is meeting the duo this morning. Hi, guys. Good morning. Yes, yeah, the Lodi Police Department announced they have twins. Congratulations, Lodi Police Department. Let me introduce you to Corporal Larry Flutie and Officer Frank Flutie. Brothers, obviously, twins. And who was born first? You were born first. That was me. So they're very competitive. I'm going to yeah. tell you that right off the bat. So you were with Lodi PD. First off, I want to set the record straight. He was born first, but only by a minute. So. And it was by C-section, you told by me. By C-section. So, so does that... it count if it was by C-section? Okay. I think that it does, because he was first in line. <laughs> yes, I did start Lodi Police Department in 2005. Okay, and you just recently joined him, and we were uh, discussing this earlier. Does anybody get you mixed up? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. I, I came to work here a couple days ago, and people are constantly calling me Larry, and I'm like, hey, I'm not Larry, I'm Frank. So it's been fun so far. Okay, so, ne like, standing next to each other, I can tell the difference. Larry's just a little bit taller. Thank you. Frank, there's just a little bit difference in the, in the facial features. But apart, everybody says it is so difficult to determine who is who. It is. Now when I walk the police department halls, I have people giving me second looks and trying to figure out whether I'm myself or my brother. Okay. Ladies, can you tell them apart? What do you think? Just telling Laura, like, together I can see the difference. Yeah. Now, if you were to separate but them apart, yeah. it would be hard. <laughs> yeah. It would so be what tricky. I'm wondering is, what, what if they go out on a call and someone just says, oh, Officer Flutie, and they don't know which one? When you guys were young, did you confuse teachers? Oh, all the time. We used to switch classes, <laughs> so if I didn't want to go to a class, I didn't roll my brother to go with for me. Uh, <laughs> or what if you wanted to just maybe take his vacation? Oh, I, we can, we can, I would definitely do that if he's uh, willing to agree <laughs> to it. All right, I got to get, uh, let's see, we have... Lieutenant Brusha. And then we have... Uh, Captain Chris Jacobson. Okay, what were you guys thinking when you hired twins? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but now we're maybe second-guessing ourselves a little bit. Uh, I feel like as soon as Frank gets comfortable here, I foresee a lot of pranks going on. That's probably going to happen, and we're going to have to watch their vacation leave, apparently, too, so uh, they, they spoke too soon. I gave away <laughs> your secret. I'm so sorry. Okay, you guys said you've been competing all of your life, baseball teams, football teams, etc., but obviously being an officer for Lodi PD, what do you think you might compete at? I think we'll probably compete in a lot of things. Um, you know, obviously he has a little less more, less time on than I do, so I think that he's probably going to try to emulate whatever I do. What do you think? I don't think that's correct. I, I, <laughs> I think that although he's taller, I'm a little bit smarter, and so I think I'll promote faster. <laughs> All right. Like I said, twins here at the Lodi Police Department. If you see them around town, do your best to try and tell them apart. Okay. I think it's going to be a little difficult, though. <laughs> Instead of back to you. Nice job. Thanks so much, Heather. Thank 939, you. 939. You're